Live from our media center at High Malakau, this is the City Review News. It's 4 p.m. Good evening. My name is Patricia Dominic. The headlines. Yuba City Mayor calls for review of institution's budget. Activists calls on government to improve political space. Yet 40 million graduates in hairdressing and tailoring in Minkaman. And Central Bank Governor has been told to tackle currency depreciation. Now the news in detail. The Mayor of Yuba City Council, Flora Michael, has called for a review of institutions budget after being told the budget for 2023 to 2024 had been spent. Flora said her administration has prioritized the rehabilitation of bridges, opening of roads and improving security, and garbage collection but there is lack of adequate resources to pursue the project. Meanwhile, Jongulai by civil society activist Bol Dengbol has lamented the worsening political space in the country and called on the government to address it. In a statement seen by the City Review, Bol claimed that the members of the newly formed political party, the revived South Sudan party, based in Juba have escaped kidnapping attempts which now put their lives in danger. Also, SPLM State Secretary in Northern Bahel Kazal State, Awil County, Stephen Ayaga, has appealed to the new governor of Central Bank, Dr. James Garang, to put effort on reversing currency depreciation. Ayaga said the depreciation of South Sudanese pounds has affected prices in the market, making life difficult in a will. And on the business, 40 internally displaced women and host communities in a will county lake state have graduated in hairdressing and tailoring. Speaking during the graduation ceremony, the deputy executive director of Awil County, Albino Chuey, has promised to give land within Minkaman for women to start their business. Stay safe. My name is Patricia Dominic.